So I bought a brand new DJI Phantom 2 quadcopter with the Zen Muse gimbal. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've used it on a whole bunch of projects for myself and for others. It's a lot of fun. It's a powerful machine and it produces great video. You, I've learned to color correct, stabilize the footage and, and edit it just wonderfully. But I had one problem with the hardware. Ah, fail, fail. Right out of the box, I had a problem. And you'll notice the front right motor, it, after the initial flight, the front right motor would stall and stutter and not provide lift. And the thing just completely tipped over. It just went down and crashed. Um, so again, after the initial flight, uh, the motor, front right motor that spins counterclockwise would stutter and spin even with throttle applied. And it just said idle, there was definitely a problem. So I contacted the company and they sent me a new motor to replace it. Now, I did not have any confidence in replacing uh, a soldered wired connection, uh, the motor. So I went to my friend's house uh, who has experience with electronics and we went ahead and we did the project there. You have to take out the screws that hold the top plastic cover on. They're M2 Allen screws. There's four against the landing gear and there's two out on the edge of each arm and then there's a single Phillips screw at the tip of each arm. Once you pull the cover off you'll notice that there's a GPS module adhered to the underside. You have to take off the connection to the GPS module. Now we trimmed the wires to the motor uh, because I did not feel comfortable soldering that close to the ECS board because of how delicate it looked. So we ended up just trimming the wires and we're going to make a direct solder connection wire to wire from the new motor and these little leads off of the ECS board. Now we strip the wires down and we tin them with solder. Uh, I was a little concerned. So the second, if I were to do this again, I would not have had just that small of a lead. I would have had the wires come off the ECS board far enough that I could solder not above the ECS board, but off to the side. And so if any solder were to drop and fall, it wouldn't fall onto the board. So we ended up using some protection. We put something down. So if any solder dropped, it, it wouldn't adhere to the board or cause a short circuit or anything. So after soldering the connections uh, and tinning them, we uh, you'll want to make sure that you have heat shrink tubing and that you put it on before you solder the connections. Uh, we put heat shrink tubing on all three wires, soldered them together, uh, and then slid the heat shrink tubing back down over uh, the wire. Again, would have much rather preferred to have the, uh, the pigtails a little longer off of the, the uh, ECS board. You can do this project. You can complete this if you have this problem. I researched the internet, found that the other people were having a similar problem. I contacted the retailer that I originally purchased my DJI Phantom through, and they ended up sending me uh, the motor free. They are made it. So I was able to get the motor, but I didn't know what I'd find once I took the cover off. I hope this will be help you identify if you have a similar problem uh, with a motor, if it has the same symptoms, and hopefully you'll be able to get a new motor and uh, replace the motor uh, and have similar success that I've had. One thing to keep in mind is that the motors, there are two motors that spin counterclockwise and two motors that spin counterclockwise, and you'll want to make sure you specify the right motor uh, if you order a replacement. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy the, the final product videos that I've been able to put out using my DJI Phantom 2. Thanks. Bye.